Planning out courses needed to graduate can be confusing and overwhelming. There isn't always someone to walk you through the process. Today, I'm going to show you how to plan out your college courses at WVU. I will show you how to create a four-year plan and provide additional planning resources. I will first show how to create a four-year plan. This is a document that allows students to know the timeline of their predicted coursework. A four-year plan can be made on many different types of files. I personally use a Google Sheets spreadsheet. Google Docs, Word files, and Excel spreadsheets are also more examples of good resources to use. You could even make your plan on paper. Whichever resource you use, I recommend being organized with it. To show you an example of organization, here is some of my four-year plan. I have separated my coursework by academic year. For each year, I have four columns. The columns tell me whether I plan to take a course in the fall or spring semester. It also includes a column to document credit hours. Knowing the number of credit hours is important. Taking less than 12 credit hours means you are not a full-time student, and it may impact your ability to receive financial aid. Taking more than 20 credit hours requires submitting a course overload petition. Under each semester, you can see the courses I plan to take. You can find courses you need to take in your degree works. Another resource I like to use when planning out my courses is my major's plan of study. You can find plans of study for any major or minor at www.wvu.edu slash academics slash programs. This helps break down which courses need to be taken to fulfill requirements. It shows it to you in categories. For example, my degree has general education foundations, bachelor of science, STEM foundations, major and elective requirements. Your major may have different requirements. Make sure to take courses that satisfy the requirements of these categories. You can click on the course number to see prerequisites and co-requisites. Once you know which courses you want to take, you can write it down in your four-year plan. Keep in mind that you can always change your plan. Upper-level courses are not always offered in both fall and spring semester. Thus, I recommend consulting with your academic advisor to learn when courses are offered. Academic advisors are an essential resource. If you do not know who your academic advisor is, you can find their name in your DegreeWorks Classic dashboard. Academic advisors can answer any questions you have and tailor their advice to you as an individual. For example, my scholarships require me to take 15 credit hours per semester. My advisor helps ensure that I am correctly progressing toward graduating while keeping my financial aid. I recently decided that I want to graduate early. Some courses required for my graduation will not be offered in the semesters I need them. My academic advisor gave me a brilliant idea to ask my professor to take a prerequisite and another required course concurrently. Of course, professors can always say no to student requests. That being said, it never hurts to ask. After asking my professor, I was given permission to take the classes concurrently. Now I am one step closer to graduating. I would have never had this idea if it weren't for my academic advisor. Thus, your academic advisor is a wonderful resource to guide you through planning your coursework. In conclusion, I hope you've learned how to create a four-year plan and utilize additional planning resources. This includes viewing the website for your major's plan of study and talking with your academic advisor. I hope creating your plan will help you move forward in your goals. Good luck!